There she is. Oh, that actually smells <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> The Polo of Dreams. It's here and today is a big day. This video, after all that work that we've put in over winter, this is the video that it's off for its MOT. It's off to VW. We're going to take it down there and all the videos previously where I've changed the drive shafts, changed the wheels, changed the suspension, all that sort of stuff, the bushings, the brakes, comes together today. It's the day. I'm excited. Camera woman's excited. Polo's always excited. It's just just living dream, look at it out in the sun. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go back in time to a few Saturdays ago when it wasn't quite as sunny, it's about 6.30 in the morning, catch up with me with slightly longer hair, taking it for an MOT, and then after you've seen all that, we'll come back here to present day, you'll tell by the shorter hair, and we'll talk about what still needs doing and whether it passed or failed and what went wrong with it. So, see you soon. Right, uh, so here we go. It is Saturday morning. It's about half six in the morning, so apologies if it is a little bit dark, but it has happened. I'm here driving the Polo. It has been absolutely months. There's no nasty noises. It could feel tighter, but I know that the tracking needs to do, but yeah, there's no nasty noises, nothing. Feels good. It's behaving itself. It's running right. Hopefully today is going to be a good day. We shall see. Definitely need to get the tracking sorted though, because it is pulling quite hard to the right, to be honest with you. My first real drive of the Polo, and I, uh, oh God, it's actually so exciting. Like to think that I've, I've spent all winter, while everyone's been in lockdown, I've spent all winter rebuilding this car. Uh, you know, and we've done loads of stuff. We've done full suspension, we've done a brake overhaul, um, most of the steering, all the bushes, wheels, tyres, brakes, loads of stuff. And to actually be finally out driving it on the way to its MOT is just a crazy feeling. First impressions of the gas coilovers are, they're not bad, to be honest. Mine are set pretty much as low as you can go. And obviously they are adjustable, they're set about halfway on the adjustment. And I tell you what, they're not bad at all. It probably looks bumpy, but yeah, quite happy with those. We'll leave it there, we'll get to VW, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, it comes out with an MOT pass, and we can start driving this thing around, start doing some of the other stuff, get the tracking done, get the new doors on, get the new headlights on, all the sort of exciting, sort of exterior stuff, because as much as the mechanical stuff probably does help people that are doing it themselves. It's not very interesting, and I know that it's not very interesting to do, and it's not very interesting to watch. So, hopefully, MOT, take it out for some nice drives, get it sorted, and then we're on to the fun stuff. But for now, I shall see you when we get there. Peace.
and it passed. If you didn't guess, that's why it's here. It passed and it is ready for the summer, which means that we can get on with some of the more exciting stuff, the exteriors, the new doors, maybe an exhaust, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, the mechanical side is done. It passed, apparently, I did everything right, which is fantastic. So I think there's only one thing left to do and that is take this out for a drive, get an ice cream, it's summer, let's go. First ride in the Polar for a while. What do you think? Yeah, I missed it. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I like all the, the looks you get as well from driving around because people don't expect it. Yeah, just something that's a bit older. It's yeah. just nice to be like driving something that isn't. I mean, do you know what? I've never really had a brand new car. Um, that Audi's on the channel is like the newest car I've ever owned, so arguably it's still quite an old car some people would class 11 years as an old car but it doesn't look that old i wouldn't say anyway whoa so you think it's much comfier than it used to be don't oh, you oh yeah 100 percent. because before it felt like you was in a tractor like you'd just be like Burr. yeah whereas it is like this is still firm isn't it it's still quite bouncy but it's like it's almost like a comfy bouncy. Yeah. I don't it, know. It's like it takes it really yeah. well. Yeah. See, I don't know that much about suspension, but it is, even though it's firmer, it is definitely comfier. So maybe that's where your money goes with these gas coilovers. But if your girlfriend approved, they must be half decent because, <laughs> yeah, you don't like being uncomfy, do you? No. Although, neither do I. I don't know. The thing was, we used to go out in it all the time in the summer, and just driving to town was just really yeah. comfortable, wasn't it? Because like, A, you've got no cup holders <laughs> if you wanted to. Yeah, there's coffee. definitely no cup holders. Um, and you just got to wedge just, it down there, aren't you? And, and I was just holding these coffees, and wow. just every time oh. I was like this, trying to not spill it, and you used to go back and say, Don't get coffee everywhere. And I'm like, I can't help it. Yeah, so, no, that was the thing, wasn't it? It was like when we're going to like shows and stuff, and yeah. you go in early and you'd get like a coffee on the morning, yeah. and then you'd get in and it'd just be bouncing all over. You'd have a sore bum as well, wouldn't you? You would, I think you might still, I think that might be down to the seats not being comfy as well. I think you need to do a bit of exterior stuff. I think you need to give it a bit of, a bit of love on the outside now. A bit of love yeah. on the outside. Well, tell you what, make sure you subscribe. It's funny you should say that because this week I've had delivered a, a brand new old stock Matig or Matig, however you say it, full length headlight eyebrow which is really cool um, you don't see that many cars with full length ones on it's not one that dips in the middle it's just a straight line straight eyebrow from the covers of everything the indicators the lights the lot and I've got a load of steel blue paint and we're gonna do it properly we're gonna do a video of painting that and fitting it and then we can look at the end whether it looks decent or whether I've wasted quite a lot of money on it um, so, of those. Anyway, that's enough chatting. I'm going to open some roof up because it is getting quite warm. <laughs> it is getting quite warm, yeah. Um, and it's it's actually quite a nice day. And I'm in the Perla with Lauren. We're off to get food, off to get ice cream. So I want the sunroof open. And oh. that's that. <laughs> is that my cute? Oh, you're cute. Oh gosh. Oh Jesus. <laughs> That's the Open that at the wrong time, going past somebody spreading muck on fields. <laughs> the joys of being in the country. Oh, that actually smells <laughs> disgusting. Anyway. I thought that was you for a second. Oh, shut up. Anyway. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> My eyes are watering. <laughs> that is person. Right, we'll catch up with you in a bit. Yeah. See you later.
the other one to stand. How hungry are you? Uh, a 20. Right, got the ice cream. Probably got it all around my face. Got cannoli. That's good. Best bit is, I've packed a car now, so I'm gonna have a little drive home. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. There she is. Nice. That's it. Is that what you was originally going in for? If it passes its MOT. It deserves a little Maguire's yeah. raspberry mm. air freshener, does it? Oh, I can get into it. It just smells a little bit foisty there, doesn't it? Yeah. Just that's some unfortunate thing that comes with old cars. It just smells a little bit musky, doesn't yeah, it? You're not a fan, are you? Oof, that's a bit pertinent, isn't it? Oh. Classic car that, isn't it? Right, so we've been out for a little ice cream in the Perla, salted caramel for all you that were wondering. Um, but yeah, we've enjoyed it. It's back on the road, it's ready for a couple of spring drives. Hopefully there will be some events and stuff that we can go to soon. Get the Perla down. Hopefully it'll look a bit better by then as well. Obviously we've still got the new doors to come, still got new headlights, we've got new grills, I've got a new aerial, I've got all sorts of stuff still to come. So make sure you are subscribed to follow the Perla's journey on becoming the best car ever. But for now, thanks for watching. Drop a comment down below of what you think, because I think it's looking quite nice now. Give us a thumbs up on the video. Not a middles up, definitely a thumbs up. And we shall see you in the next one. Camera lady, do you like the car? That's it, we'll end it there. Peace.